Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this video on crypto wallets. Today we're going to be going over the software wallets um, and setting up your private wallet. We'll do a little step-by-step -step walkthrough. Um, one thing you guys should know is uh, all the wallet setups are basically the same. So once you get comfortable setting up your first wallet, you'll just know it's, you're going to do the same thing for every wallet you download. Uh, I mentioned before, there are a couple different reasons why we use multiple wallets. Um, and as you guys start to get into it, you'll notice uh, and you, you'll understand the reason why. But again, just to go over and review, um, the two main wallets that I personally use on a day to day basis is Trust Wallet and Atomic Wallet. For the purposes of this video, we're going to do a setup for Atomic Wallet. And the only reason for that is because Atomic Wallet offers a desktop version and a mobile version whereas Trust Wallet only has the mobile version, all right? Now, a couple amazing, really cool features about the private wallets. Of course, number one would be the privacy and the security of just knowing, um, you know, you're a little bit safer than having your, your funds locked up on an exchange and them just disappearing or some crazy stuff happening. It's happened before. The amount of stories that exist out there on crypto exchanges just disappearing in the middle of the night with people's money, it's, it's wild. Again, don't worry, none of the exchanges that I'm recommending to you in the room are shady like that, so we should not have any problem. But again, a main reason for having a private wallet is the privacy and the security. The other reason for having it is just the additional features and support it gives you. Many of the wallets gives you benefits as far as you're able to purchase coins directly in the wallet. Uh, Trust Wallet, for an example, as you can see, you can use your debit card and your credit cards, which isn't a big thing. A lot of places won't let you use credit cards, but you can actually use debit cards and credit cards in Trust Wallet and Atomic Wallet. If you want to buy currencies, you can also do swaps directly from there. So maybe you don't have access to Binance or you don't want to do all the additional steps of doing the VPN. You can go directly into your wallet by self-funding your wallet with your debit card and making purchases on all the different cryptocurrencies in there. And probably one of the coolest things about uh, the private wallets is the staking feature. Now, we'll do a video on staking a little bit more in depth just to go over it because I think it's really important. But just understand, this is a way for you to earn passive income on your cryptocurrencies while they sit there. So whether it's an up market, a down market, it doesn't matter. A lot of these cryptocurrencies are paying extremely competitive interest rates right now that you cannot find in another bank or anywhere around the world. Most places around the world, interest rates are in the negative right now. In America, we're under 1%. You know, we were close to the negative, but the Fed said they'll keep us out. So just knowing that you can have your money work in the cosmos and be earning upwards of 10%, I, I'm just saying, guys, that to me is just a big benefit. If I have $2,000 sitting in the bank, it's not doing anything. It's not earning any interest, not even 1%. And more than likely, they might even be trying to charge me a monthly maintenance fee. I might as well just take that $2,000, convert it to Cosmos, and then let it sit there and earn 10%. Whether it's going up or down, the 10% that I'm earning should make up for whatever little difference is in there. But again, we'll get into that a little bit more in detail. So these are the features and from here, you just want to go and you want to download the wallet. All right. So once you download the wallet, it essentially should take you here. This would be the desktop version. The phone version should look the same. We're going to go to create new wallet and just make a password for the purposes of this video. I'll make a simple one. All right. Hopefully the password is the same. Looks good. All right, your wallet is now loading and creating. Now, all the wallet setups will be the same. You'll make a password. Some of them may ask you for a PIN number. Some of them may tell you you can set up touch ID and facial recognition. Now, the most important part when you're setting up a wallet is the very beginning of the wallet setup. They're going to give you anywhere between 12 to 26 words that are randomized. Here go my 12 words right here, all right? So I just copied these 12 words, and this is what is called your seed phrase, AKA your private keys. Now, if something happens to my computer, let's say it you know, gets destroyed uh, in a storm, or I lose my laptop, or I lose my phone, it falls in the toilet, your wallet is gone. And the only way to get back to that wallet when you upload it onto a new phone or a new computer is by downloading 
trust wallet or atomic wallet again and pasting your 12 words into the slot when you put your 12 words in there it will restore all of your funds and all your money will be made available to you on any computer laptop or phone that you input the words onto all right so once you have it copied you would essentially just go ahead open up your wallet and move forward now once the wallet's opened up here we go you have all the different assets that atomic wallet will let you hold and store in here now again every wallet does not have every asset so that is why we have to utilize certain wallets okay now play with your wallet get familiar with it again you have the exchange feature you can come here and you can essentially if you had ether or bitcoin you could transfer that for whatever other coins are here on this list you know you see uh, you can buy your cryptos directly from here again using a visa or mastercard if you wanted to buy 200 that's how much it would get you be aware of fees the one thing i would tell you about wallets that needs to be worked on the amount of fees they charge you is ridiculously high now they fluctuate up and down but be aware of fees an example Previously before, I tried to buy some Bitcoin back in the day on Atomic Wallet using the same feature, and I was going to buy like two or $300 worth of Bitcoin. The fee was almost $20 more in Atomic Wallet than it would have been in Coinbase. So check your fees before you go forward with your transactions. All right. Of course, you have your staking feature for all the different coins, for all you ADA Cardano lovers. While you park and wait for it to explode to the moon, you could be earning 5% on the funds. You know, take a look. And like I said, every wallet offers you different, you know, fees and different structures as far as interest that they're going to be paying out to you. So, you know, they give you a little bit of different benefits to open multiple wallets. Personally, I probably have 13 different wallets I use. And again, it's because some of them are just for staking. Some of them hold different coins in there that I can't find in other wallets. So you kind of have to adapt to this crypto world as it keeps growing. So this is wallets, guys. It's super simple. Whenever you want to send anything to your wallet now, you would basically just click on the asset. And just like you do for the exchanges, you would either hit receive or you'd be sending. If you're receiving, you hit receive and it will pull up your QR code. You can either scan it or you can copy and paste this into your withdrawal address and send your funds. Guys, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Again, setting up a wallet, the most important thing, make sure you write down your private keys, store those words somewhere safe, put it up, don't ever lose it. All right, guys, see you on the next video.